What is up my friends? Welcome back to the show. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. It is a brisk morning. I am walking down Coffee Pot Boulevard in St. Pete and we are about to do some sheep's head fishing y'all. Ditch the waders today. I'm just going to be doing land-based fishing. So we've got a bucket full of live crabs. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Hope y'all had a dang fine holiday with your family. Got to eat a bunch of turkey and other goodness. And stay tuned, we're gonna get on the fish, y'all. All right, talk a little bit about my setup for today. I've got the Quantum Smoke Inshore 30, spooled with 10 pound Power Pro braid. I've got the trusty Stealth Sniper from Bull Bay. This is a medium heavy fast seven foot rod. It's a, no a nice stout rod for fishing in close to the docks like this. I've got a length of 20 pound fluorocarbon, about a foot and a half long. And I've just got a small split shot on and a small owner live bait hook. I think that's a number two hook. I'm not positive. This one was a, um, one that a friend gave to me. So that is the setup, y'all. All right, so I'll show you how I'm hooking these fiddlers. I hold them upside down. And then I just run the, foot, run the hook right behind that last leg. And through and out the other side, y'all. That's a nice little morsel right there. You guys, I am just missing them all. Unbelievable. Ugh, frustrating. You gotta be kidding me. I can't catch one, brother. Oh, missed another one, y'all. Man, oh man, this bite is frustrating. All right, y'all. I'm out of practice and have missed a couple bites for sure. But they are biting. All right, y'all, while I'm struggling to catch it, my man over here and his son are crushing them and um, just picked up a real nice sheep. What you think, man? That's probably 16? 15, 16. 16, you want to hold them up for me? You want to be on the, you want to be on the show? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, show me that one, dude. That's a good one. That's a beautiful fish, man. Congratulations. That's a keeper. At least 15, I'd say. Probably two pounds or more. Good work, guys. Oh, yeah. This is a solid one. Yeah, this is a solid one. Yeah, if you don't mind, brother. Oh my gosh, he is pulling some serious drag. Awesome, 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 brother. Appreciate the assist. Oh yeah, y'all, that's a nice one. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh yeah, let's get him untangled here. Oh, that's a stud. He pulled me right under the dock at first. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a slab, y'all. That's a nice one. He probably goes 16. I'll get a measure on him here in a minute, but we are actually keeping fish today. And this one's going in the cooler, y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good old Ikejime. All right, let's get this guy in the cooler. All right, y'all, we are on the board. That's a nice fish. Yes, sir. There's one. Oh, dang it. Popped him off. Popped him off, y'all. There we go. There's a fish. He might keep. He 
he might keep. We're gonna have to measure this one, y'all. Gonna have to measure this one. Let's get a look at him. Yeah, easy, boss. They gotta be 12. I think he's probably 13. Yeah, he's probably 13. We'll see if he'll keep. All right, y'all, this guy was 13. So he is going in the cooler with this other just stud sheep set. Look at that one, y'all. Yeah. We're eating good tonight. So one of the keys to this style of fishing is to just keep your line tight. Don't let slack in your line. You'll be able to feel the bite so much better. And the bite from sheep's head, as y'all probably know, is very subtle. They don't always give you a good indication that they've got it in their mouth. So you always want to keep your rod tip up and your line tight, especially when you're fishing like this. It's different when you're fishing straight up and down, like if you're looking down off the pier. But for this style of fishing, you've got to keep it tight. There we go. Y'all, precision casting is so important with these fish. You gotta get it right where they're at. Yep. Yep, there we go. Hopefully that's another keeper. Feels decent, but I'm not sure. Nope, he's probably a little shy. Yeah, he's shy. He's about 10, so we'll put him back. There we go. There's a decent one. That's better. That one might keep. All right, y'all. Get back on him. Getting back on them. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, let's get him in the cooler. Awesome. There we go. Oh yeah. That's some pride. Be right on the border. Yeah, we'll have to measure him. I'm not sure if he'll keep. Let's get him in the cooler. So the cool part about this is we haven't had to leave this dock the whole day. We've just been on this dock basically since we started seeing the fish and finding them and getting bites. And uh, when you've got a dock like this, there's no reason to leave it when the fish are still biting. Oh, missed that one. There he is. There he is, y'all. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. All right. Sheep's head number five. Or six, I believe. Yep, he'll keep. Look at these teeth though, y'all. You gotta see these teethers. Just crazy looking teeth, man. I tell you. 
Alrighty, my friends, that is a wrap for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Man, just a great day here along Coffee Pot Boulevard on Coffee Pot Bayou catching sheep's head. My first real outing targeting them with live bait this year. As y'all could see, I was a little rusty. Took me a while to find my rhythm with a bite, but once we got into it, um, yeah, we did really well. I got six keepers in the box. Um, I didn't even have the GoPro on my head for the last one. Um, I, thought, <laughs> I thought I did. I, I took it off to, uh, to do something and I just forgot to put it back on my head. But anyway, key things to think about when you're sheep's head fishing, close to structure like this from shore, nice stout rod, because you're gonna get bullied by these things and keep your drag tight, okay? And um, subtle bite. Just get used to how they bite. It's gonna take a while, you're gonna miss some fish. Don't get frustrated, just keep at it, okay? Small hook, number two or smaller hook is gonna do it for you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time on the Wade Fishing Experience.